Good morning, everybody. This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs. Tap through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave us. Free general collective reading. We're a few people away from 13,800 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. And thanks so much for all the recent donations um, and all the love and support to the channel. Every like, subscribe, and share, uh, share of my channel really, really, really helps you guys. So thanks so much for all the love and support, man. I really, really, really appreciate it. I do, I do, I do, do. It's going to help a single mama get out of this crazy-ass city um, and go be near her children. Just saying, just saying. That's what I'm putting the money towards, to renovate my home and um, and to buy a tiny home, um, just to let everybody know, okay? I mean, I don't have to tell you, but I just wanted to tell you, okay? Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do, who? Okay, so I did receive a channeling this morning. It's 10.34 a.m., 8.22. Confirmation from my intuitive one. He's looking outside. He likes to do that a lot. I, uh, my front door doesn't open right now. It's stuck. i got to buy a new front door. Um, so uh, we've been using the back door, and he loves that thing. He loves it. Hopefully, I can get a new front door soon. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, was um, pregnancies are popping up everywhere is what I heard. That was the first one. Pregnancies are popping up everywhere. I heard some in uh, workplace situations. Uh, it's causing extreme conflict and some um, frenemy betrayals, third parties, sneaky links, and situationships. I heard they're popping up everywhere. Um, so... I feel for majority of my collective, you guys are about to see these people pop up pregnant, pop up pregnant. Um, for some, you could be the one that's pregnant and you are the third party sneaky link situationship or the workplace affair. For some, I feel you were connected to these people or you are a family member or a friend or a neighbor or a community member or what have you, what have you with these people. But pregnancies popping up everywhere. A lot of workplace affair energy and a lot of sneaky links, a lot of third parties, a lot of situationships. Um, I feel, feel fin, fin, I can't speak, friend group energy. Oh, yeah, I'm your best friend all day long. And then five minutes later, they're caught in the laundry room banging it with your husband or their husband or somebody's husband or what have you, what have you. Um, <laughs> You plug it in how it resonates. It's really terrible, but, you know, people do this crap all the time, and that's just the truth. They think they're God, and they have an ego the size of freaking Texas, and they think they can do whatever the hell they want to do. They end up doing it, and then they end up getting a bad name and bad reputation around town and around their community and around what have you, what have you, because of the choices they made. Well, that is the choices they made. So what do they expect? And that's just the truth. So, um, but whoever these people are, hell, I'm I hermit mode, y'all know that. When I travel, I travel myself or with my kids, and then I say to myself, so, and I do it because of shit like this. I've seen too much of it in workplaces, dynamics, and that's just the truth. I've seen too much of it. Oh, let's go to the club. Oh, oh yeah, I'm your work husband. I'm your work wife. <laughs> and then four months later, they end up pregnant. Oh my God, what do I do? Well, what the hell do you expect? What? I mean, seriously, what do you expect? And that's just the truth. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's crazy. But whoever these people are, pregnancy's popping up everywhere. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I mean, hopefully they can heal over this shit and do what's be in the best interest of the children, child or children. But um, they created this hot mess express themselves. And that's just the truth. They created it themselves. So, they're going to have to be adults and work this out. And that's just the truth. You cannot make this crap up even if you wanted to. Child! Number 18 can be very significant. Number one slime, number 18. After this, I'm getting off of here. I'm going I'm going hiking today. Just to let everybody know. I'm going hiking. Child.
This is about to cause these pregnancies to come out in huge ways. Huge ways. Soon and quickly, it's about to screw up family dynamics all over the place. And these people's reputations, they will be exposed, whether they want to or not. And people will not look at them the same way again. Okay, I heard it's about, uh, it's, the truth is about to come out soon and quickly. So, and I think a lot of this has to do, if they live in the United States, I think a lot of this has to do with the Roe versus Wade um, overturned decision. Uh, unless, I mean, I don't know, I'm not politician. I'm not, you know, anybody important anywhere. I'm just a psychic medium on my YouTube channel. But I think a lot of this has to do with Roe versus Wade, is what the overturning decision of Roe versus Wade, to be honest with you, because now these people cannot go get the abortions. And if they have a secret abortion clinic in their area, if they get caught, and that's just the truth. I mean, I'm just saying, unless the states are handling it individually, I don't know. I'm not anybody important. But I do know the Roe vs. Wade over, uh, decision has been overturned. So in the United States as a blanket, you're not supposed to get an abortion. But we all know, especially rich politicians, mistresses, somehow they always find ways to get abortions. And that's just the truth. Just saying, just saying. Somehow, some way, they usually make it happen. Politicians probably don't want me to say that, but that's the damn truth, and we all know it is. But anyways, I heard these are going to come out, though. These are going to come out. It doesn't sound like they're going to be able to find an illegal abortion clinic, or they're going to be too far past gestation, and they're going to have to go through with the child, uh, carrying, gestating the child. Their third party, Sneaky Link, um, th they're legally married, is what it sounds like. These people are legally married, but they're... But they're legally married to somebody else. So I think their partner might take them to the court of law for a damn divorce, for infidelity. Um, if I was them, I would. I'd take them to the court of law for infidelity, for cheating on their ass. And, and I mean, go leave the courthouse with the money and the assets. Since they made their free will and choice to sneak around with their parts. And that's just the truth. But I'm not these people. Anyways. So, um, this is, um, the child just standing in the womb. I heard they're gonna, I mean, it doesn't sound like they're gonna be able to partake in illegal abortion clinics or abortion clinics, period. And it, it sounds like they're gonna have to go through. I heard it's gonna, um, that they're, these people are worried about their reputation being tarnished in the community, but I heard they're going to be because people are gonna find out. People are gonna find out they're cheaters, they're liars. They're manipulators. Um, and a lot of these uh, situations, or some of them rather, are in workplace situations. And I've seen a lot of workplace cheating in my time. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I, I can could, I could picture it in my head. And that's just the truth. The last hospital I worked at, oh my God, those people got around. And that's just the damn truth they did. Um, that's probably one of the reasons they didn't like me. But um, I'm serious. I mean, not just there. It's been a lot of places, but, but the point is they they made the bed. They don't want to lie in it, but now they're about to, because it's to the point there is another life involved here. And there's not even an option to my knowledge in the United States where you can get an abortion. This is a child just sitting in the womb. I heard it's about to screw up family dynamics because the truth's about to get out. So the people's family that currently they have. The, they're going to know about the pregnant person, the other person, like the double lives are about to be exposed, basically. The double lives are about to be exposed. Who's really sleeping with who is really about to be exposed. I don't care if they're legally married or not, and a lot of these people are. You plug it in, how it resonates. Experiment to just you have a question. Main female. This is the third party, sneaky link situation ship. Message reverse, number seven or two. It could be very significant numbers in one's life, number seven or two. It could be a possible age of one of these people's child, children, child or children, or any other significant number in one's life, seven or two. Main female reverse, female uh, message reverse.
These people do not want to be looked down, negatively down upon, but they will by many people, whether they want to be or not, want to be or not, because of the choices they have made. These people do not negatively want to look down, uh, be negatively looked down upon their society and community, basically, and world. But I heard they will be because of the choices they make. So they don't want to be looked at as a cheater. They don't want to be looked at as a third party, a sneaky link, a situation ship. But that is the choice they made to open their parts or to swing their whatever, whatever into somebody else while they're legally married. They should have got a divorce, became single, and then went done single life. That's the logical same thing to do, but they chose not to. This is the third party sneaky link situation ship. These people are very impulsive. They don't sit there and think about what they need to do. Nobody's worth me getting into a third party sneaky link or situation ship. That's just the damn truth. Nobody. Nobody. And that's just the damn truth. Third party sneaky link situation ship. There's been no communication about it or somebody's been keeping it very sneaky and secret and try, or at least trying to, but um, it's about to come out. It's about to come out. Some of these people just found out they're pregnant. Some are very far along. Some of these people just found out they're pregnant and some are very far along. So some, they just found out they're pregnant and some they're very far along. So you play, I think you guys are about to find out about these people hiding the pregnancies, hiding the sneaky link, the third party. Just why didn't you just go get a divorce, let the other person be free and hashtag live free and then go peruse with whoever, your baby mama, your baby daddy, your what a, what a, what a, what? What? I'm just saying. And one of these people is pregnant with twins. One is pregnant with triplets. And one is about to find out they're pregnant. Okay, so some of these people are early in gestation. Some are far along in gestation. So I'm feeling third trimester, second or third trimester. Some are just newly found out they're pregnant. So very first, first tri trimester. Um, and some, oh my God. And um, some of them, they... Um, are about to find out they're pregnant. They're about to find out they're pregnant. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So they haven't found out they're pregnant yet, but they're about to. There's a whole bunch of pregnancies in here, like a whole bunch. But they're keeping it strategically hidden from people because they don't want society to view them badly. But it is about to come out in their community and world. And they are going to be viewed badly by their society, community, and world, depending on where they live and how people are, um, how accepting they are, basically. Um, anyways, um, I don't judge as long as you don't harm me or others or my children. And that's just the truth. But that's just me. A lot of people are very, very, very judgmental. Very freaking judgmental. So it really all depends on who you get around in your society and world. And that's just the truth. All right. So let me see if I hear anything else. One of these pregnancies is an ancestral pregnancy. And it will be all over the place soon and quickly. Soon and quickly. Oh my God. And one of these is an ancestral pregnancy. And I heard it will be all over the place soon and quickly, soon and quickly. So there's an ancestral pregnancy in here too. So anybody doesn't know, ancestral means in the family. So I think it might be a dad and a um, daughter or a dad and a aunt or a dad and a cousin or a nephew and a son a mother or oh, it's just disgusting just thinking about it or a grandfather and a granddaughter or I don't know it's just so sick to even think about it Ugh! 
an ancestral relationship. And I heard that one's about to go quickly in the community and the family. So I'm thinking that one might come out at a family reunion or it might come out at a family get together or it might come out um, in the community and then it just spreads like wildfire. It's some kind of get together. I think a family get together. Maybe a round table, family round. Well, probably not. <laughs> it may. It may. Oh. Ah. All right. Well, I love you guys. Everybody have a good day and I'll see you next.